I'm going to show you how to enable printer pooling on a Windows print server. So to start, I'm logged onto my Windows print server, and then within Server Manager, I'll come up to Tools, and then Print Management. In here, on the left-hand side, we can select our print server, then select Printers, then we'll find the virtual printer that we want to enable printer pooling for, then we can right-click, and then come to Properties. Under the Ports tab, we can see that we've got one port selected, because by default, a standard Windows print queue is mapped at a one-to-one, -one, so that each print queue is mapped to one physical printer. However, what we can do is we can enable printer pooling so that when a print job is sent to this virtual warehouse printer queue, it will get sent to the first available printer that is set up in the port section. So in this example, we've got a warehouse printer, and I've got three of the same physical printer all next to each other in the warehouse. So what I want to do is set it up so that when a print job is sent to this warehouse printer queue, it will come out of one of the three available printers. So to do that, we can tick enable printer pooling. Then we come to add port. We can then select standard TCP IP port and then press new port and then follow the wizard through. So the first printer we've got is already set up on 10.0.0.10 and my other printers are 10.0.0.11. So I'll put that one through. We'll just let this detect. The wizard may or may not pick up the printer. If it doesn't, we can just select generic network card and then press next, then press finish, and then we can close. And now we've got our two ports for our two corresponding printers. I have a fair printer, so we'll just do add port again, select standard TCP IP port, and then again, follow the wizard through, entering the IP address of the printer, and then going next through the wizard. Again, this hasn't found the device, so we can just select generic network card and then press next, and then finish. And then when we close, we can see that we've now got our three ports corresponding to our three physical printers, all attached to the one virtual printer. So now what will happen is when we press apply, any job that is now sent to this warehouse printer print queue will go to the printer that has the IP address 10.0.0.10. If that printer is offline or busy, it will then go to the printer that's got the IP address 10.0.0.11. If that printer is offline or also busy, it will then go to 10.0.0.12 and then print from that printer instead. If all three printers are busy, it will just queue and the next available printer will get the print job. Then we can just press OK. And now we've got our virtual printer that has got multiple ports set up for all three. So if we just quickly browse to our print server, we see we've got our warehouse printer here. So if anyone sends a job to this print queue, it will automatically come to this print server and then get sent to one of the three available printers. So that's how to set up printer pooling on a Windows print server.